It's a morning of Sundown National Park trip. Very early out here. It's about five o'clock in the morning. We're going to uh, go head up the trail. Got to drag the kids out of bed. Lila's up. Ben's already going off. He doesn't want to get up. I don't blame him. It's cold out here. But we're going to go anyway. So, uh, what do you reckon? Let's get to it. to get pretty rocky here and, and really really bumpy uh, it's not very comfortable on the trail so what we're doing we got our Storms tyre deflators and we've um, just fitted them up to the to the tyres here you guys can see that there the uh, So the Storm Tire Deflator, that's just going to drop the PSI down. It's going to drop it down to, we're going about 24 to 26 PSI. And we're going to, it's going to be a little bit more comfortable for us while we're on the trail. So give that a go. There's the first ones done there now. So that's that's dropped itself down to 24 PSI. So this is just one of the smaller climbs. It's sundown. Cruising up. It's not really a problem with the EFS kit. A bit bumpy for the kids though. In there, kids, you'll be okay. <laughs> You're not gonna die. Oh, hey guys. So, part way in on a way to Seven River. Beautiful day, kids are playing. Eating chips, eating nothing but junk. Daddy's a soft touch. Look at where you are. Only way it could get any better is if my lovely wife was here. She's off working. Too pregnant, unfortunately, to come full driving, but it's only temporary. This is, let's look at this as reconnaissance for our next trip. Definitely going to come back here. Awesome. Okay, so this is the descent to Burrows Waterhole. Once again, pretty sure this trail's been graded since the last time I was out here. It's uh, pretty tame by 
standards that I've seen before. I've seen footage of people that have been out here in 2009, 2010. It was fairly rutted up and required a decent bit of articulation. Um, doesn't appear to be the case anymore. I guess it's a good thing. It means people with lower lift vehicles can get out here and have a look at the place. Here it comes! Like very good at going down the hills. So don't worry, he won't slip. He's pretty good. I slipped and I uh, hurt my butt. Don't move, okay? Hmm. Easy. Doing it easy. Yeah. Easy as. Doing it easy, mate. You're doing it easy. I couldn't even get up there by foot. Yeah. Because I slipped. Cut my butt. Oh, it looks like he's got the same. Yeah. Watch out, princess. Just stay out the way. Yeah, they're doing it easy as well. <laughs> Too easy. That's got limited slips. You can all see him in the distance. He's alive! The world's good at nothing. Car climbing machine ever. He's so good at this. Problem getting up that. Easy. It's an easy. Okay, so I just watched some other Forbies go up that trail there. Pretty cool. Pretty good to see how it's uh, what it's like from the outside. Kids are over there playing in the field. They got a ball. They're having a bad old time. Pretty sure they love being out here. I just wanted to show you guys a quick trick that I thought of for townies like me. You're mad on your espresso. I've got a, uh, I've got a shot here that I pulled, pulled that this morning out of my big machine. I've been using a plunger, but it's uh, plunger. It's not real good. I don't like the taste of the coffee, so all I'm going to do is I got some. I got some milk there. I'm just gonna whack the shot in, mix it up, chuck it on the stove, heat it up, and drink it. Let you guys know what it's like in a few minutes, eh? So earlier I showed you guys how to uh, make a decent espresso coffee while you're in the bush. It's gonna tell you what it's like. Problem solved. 
tastes exactly like the ones I make at home. Not quite as frothy, but um, just like a flat white. You could even bring some chocolate powder. I don't have any here with me, but um, it's worked out really well. Beautiful. <sighs> Mellow coffee. Get the bean from just up the road. So when you're out in the bush, just bring some shots with you, liquid shots. Heat them up in your billy. Makes the best coffee ever. Not stuck with that instant crap. Um, so we're going to go hit up the trail again. Catch you guys later. Okay, so last little bit of information for the day for you guys. Um, we finished in the trails and we're um, just blowing our tyres back up. We'll finish now. It was a lot quicker than I thought. Uh, got the Ridge Rider compressor here. Uh, good little setup. So that's the compressor there. You just keep the engine running, hook it up to your battery, and it's got uh, gauge there and plenty of cable. Comes with its own bag. So, um, yeah, pump the tyres up in, like I reckon it takes a minute per tyre. So, if you're going to, you know, go out on these really rocky trails, um, instead of getting in vibrated all day and destroying your tyres, air them down, air them back up when you get to the other side. Easy peasy.